Welcome back to MSA Tech Channel. Today we will dive together in Top 7 Pretexting Attack Techniques Number 1. Phishing Phishing is the practice of pretending to be someone reliable through text messages or emails. Like most social engineering attacks, the goal is to steal private data, such as passwords or credit card numbers. Pretexting and phishing are two different things but can be combined because phishing attempts frequently require a pretexting scenario. By tricking a target into thinking they are speaking to an employer or contractor, for instance, pretexting improves the likelihood that the phishing attempt will be successful. Compromised employee accounts can be used to launch additional spear phishing campaigns that target specific people. Number 2. Vishing Vishing, often known as voice phishing, is a tactic used in many social engineering attacks, including pretexting. This attack technique involves using phone calls to coerce victims into divulging private information or giving attackers access to the victim's computer. For instance, the attacker may phone the victim and pose as a central bank representative. Vishing attackers typically use threats or other tactics to intimidate targets into providing money or personal information. Bank account fraud schemes often target senior citizens, but anyone can fall for a vishing scam. Number 3. Scareware Scareware overwhelms targets with messages of fake dangers. For example, a scareware attack may fool a target into thinking malware has been installed on their computer. The victim is then asked to install security software, which is really malware. Number 4. Baiting. A baiting attack lures a target into a trap to steal sensitive information or spread malware. This may involve giving them flash drives with malware on them. The bait frequently has an authentic-looking element to it, such as a recognizable company logo. Number 5. Impersonation. An impersonator mimics the actions of someone else, typically a person the victim trusts, such as a friend or coworker. This entails establishing credibility, usually through phone numbers or email addresses of fictitious organizations or people. Number 6. Tailgating. Threat actors can physically enter facilities using tailgating, which is another kind of social engineering. Tailgating refers to sneakily entering a facility after someone who is authorized to do so but without them noticing. Number 7. Piggybacking. Piggybacking involves an authorized person giving a threat actor permission to use their credentials. For instance, an unauthorized individual shows up at a facility's entrance, approaches an employee who is about to enter the building, and requests assistance, saying they have forgotten their access pass, key fob, or badge. So depending on how believable the act is, the employee may choose to help the attacker enter the premises. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for content that is more informative. Stay safe and see you next time.